How about them Tigers, baby? Corey Raymond snags DJ Pickett, the number six overall player in the country. Here it says number two at his position. Some people have him at number one. Five star consensus, bro. Six four one seventy nine from Florida. I'm not gonna try to say that. Zeph, Zephyrils. Uh, I don't know. No idea. It's whatever. Uh, anyways, the most important thing. Uh, you know, DBU's coming back, man. You know, it, it, this the last player that we got to commit of this caliber at this position was Derek Stingley. That's crazy for LSU, man. It, it's been it's been a. Uh, it's been a pretty rough spell for LSU when it comes to defensive backs uh, the last couple years, man. Um, but man, we got our boy. We just got to keep fighting off Oregon and that Nike money. Keep fighting off Miami. We're going to be all right, bro. But um, yeah, Corey Raymond coming back to LSU this year after, uh, what, two years at Florida. Um, you know, there was a lot of people who doubted Corey Raymond coming back to LSU, didn't want him back. Um, I'm not one of the ones that didn't want him back necessarily, but I did kind of doubt him, not gonna lie. I did kind of doubt him because of how his stint ended at LSU last time and how he did at Florida, uh, you know, how the pass defense looked there. I was kind of sus. I was a little bit sus, but, you know, I'm not gonna turn down Corey Raymond coming back. I think he earned the opportunity, you know, at another chance to redeem himself after how it ended. You know, if anybody gets that opportunity it's Corey Raymond um and here he is he's you know the effects are already there and DJ Pickett even said if if Corey Raymond's at LSU how do you not choose LSU that's pretty much not exactly what he said but it's pretty much what he said um but you know we got him now and we have Jabori Antoine committing in a couple of days uh you know obviously like I said just gotta Got to hang on to him until he signs officially. But man, this is massive. This is freaking massive. Brian Kelly and Corey Raymond getting it done, bro. It's it's a, it's a rough day for the BK can't recruit crowd. Uh, not gonna lie, man. It, it feels good. Brian Kelly's been killing it with this class, with this 2025 class, man. Absolutely freaking killing it. He's got the number one overall player in Bryce Underwood, quarterback. Uh, got the number one overall running back in Harlem Berry. Now he's got DJ Pickett, who is the number one or number two cornerback. And he did have DeCorian Moore, who was the number one receiver, committed at one point. Uh, but, you know, he ended up, you know, that whole crazy recruitment. Um, it's not over yet, but, you know, I'm not really too worried about receiver. You know, LSU never really has too much of an issue when it comes to receiver. We've always got somebody that steps up. But, um, yeah, it's one thing to get them on board, though. Cornerbacks like DJ Pickett, one thing to get them on board. Got to use them right, man. Got to develop them. And that's the next step. And, uh, but yeah, Corey Raymond, off to a good start, man. Off to a good freaking start. That DJ Pickett heading to the Bayou. A huge pickup for the Tigers, the number six player in the country. His uniform so now, freaking clean, bro. He is number two on the industry rankings, but even higher for on three. He's on three's number one ranked corner. I want to talk more about this. Let's bring on Steve Wiltfong, on three national analyst, to talk more about this. Steve, LSU is the pick. Why do you think it was the Tigers in the end? Well, he told you it was Corey Raymond, yep. DBU, that defensive back tradition and history on his official visit, got a chance to spend time with Patrick Peterson Ooh. that last weekend of May coming into June. The family has got a connection with Patrick Peterson as well. So LSU, <coughs> oh, they're shit, the program really? that has led the most in this recruitment, in my opinion. And so this is one that comes full circle as Oregon certainly presented a challenge. That's crazy. Recruitment gave him a lot to think about, but he's headed to Death Valley to play his college football for Brian Kelly, Corey Raymond and company. Man, just a huge pickup. Now, you know, at different times, we thought it was different programs, right? I mean, even if you go back, I know, you know, more recently, it's Oregon and Miami that we thought were maybe the favorites at, at, at certain points here recently. But Steve, a year ago this time, it was Michigan. I mean, I think Michigan would have- I did not know that. Ago. How far did DJ Pickett's recruitment, I mean, the twists and turns in this one were remarkable. 
Well, he landed his first offer before he played a down of football in eighth grade. And that first scholarship came from LSU defensive coordinator Blake Baker. Oh, he was on the Miami. Staff. OK, so he's got a lot of history with these guys at LSU. There was a time last fall where I would have said Florida was in pole position. Corey Raymond was the yeah. defensive backs coach at Florida. at the And time. now both so, Baker and Corey Raymond are at LSU, bro. Oh, the stars aligned for this one. I think uh, the right pieces getting into place on the coaching staff at LSU certainly had a look lot at this to boy, bro. It. Look he how quick he is. A few visits there and felt very at home in Baton Rouge. Just liked the vibe on campus, uh, liked the energy around the football program, and likes what Brian Kelly and company are building there. This recruiting class is really coming together. Ranked number five nationally before DJ Pickett announced on the on three industry rankings. He joins a class that is the number one quarterback in the country, number one player overall in Bryce Underwood, the number one running back in the land harlem berry this is going to be one of the top offensive line classes mm -hmm. in america when all said and done led by carius kern and tyler murray yeah that's another thing that i was happy about brian kelly coming to lsu for when he did when he left notre dame brian kelly bro his offensive lines and defensive lines you know his he understands that the trenches are the most important part of your team um and the offensive line for lsu coming into this year going to be, I think, the best offensive line in the country, bro. They are insanely good. Um, we return everybody but the center, but the center um, had a little bit of playing time last year. He's going to be fine, I think, but we have Will Campbell at left tackle, Emory Jones at right tackle, man. Two, two superstar freaking offensive linemen, dude. We are so stacked in the offensive line, um, and that, you know, we hopefully can get back to a more traditional running game. Um, but yeah, man, that Brian Kelly, I just, and Brad Davis, the uh, offensive line coach, like the staff that Brian Kelly has put together is absolutely insane. Like has he, as bad as the defense was last year, he came and tore everything down and put together one of the best defensive staffs in the country. Um, and you know, the offensive staff, you know, it's, <laughs> everything is coming together. And even Brian Kelly said at Media Days, SEC Media Days, that this is the deepest team that we've had. And it is, bro. We are stacked. I mean, the biggest question mark is defensive line still. But, um, you know, we're getting some guys in for next year. We're recruiting that position pretty heavily. We're going to be back sooner or later, man. Or, uh, Tyler Miller, excuse me. And now they have maybe the, uh, their favorite defensive player on the board, DJ Pickett, in the fold. Yeah, such a versatile piece at 6'4", 180 pounds. And he never even really, he has not really fully committed to playing DB yet, which is crazy. He's a receiver, too, and an elite one at that. Confidence from all three teams. And, and, and that level of confidence was rather high, wouldn't you say? Well, I'm not sure I was feeling a lot of confidence out of Coral Gables right now, but we know that Miami will continue to uh, try and recruit DJ Pickett moving mm -hmm. forward. And Oregon was a program that he visited several times. There was a lot of confidence around Eugene. There was a time here at the end where Oregon looked like the one to beat. So certainly they'll continue to stay on DJ Pickett as well moving forward. That's recruiting uh, in today's age. But DJ Pickett, look, man, we, we, he's the number one corner in the country, plays a lot of safety on film. He could play wide out at a high level on the next level, too. Josh had over a thousand yards receiving yeah. as a junior and 15 touchdowns. We're looking at a Travis uh, Hunter type of player, man. As a sophomore, another pick as, as a junior, but he, he goes both ways, rarely leaves the field, just has a unique skill set at six foot four. He can erase mismatches, he can mm -hmm. take on tight ends, those big receivers. He's long long quick and he is very physical on film too so uh, uh, a guy that certainly has all the traits to carry on that dbu tradition at lsu yeah mm -hmm. wow just just an unbelievable and yeah man another thing I'll, I'll say one last thing the nil for lsu you know we've not really been behind uh but we've not been you know up with the elite programs like georgia and like obviously oregon um we've not been up there on par with them but you know some things have been changing recently some things have been changing and the the nil for lsu is starting to get a little bit better man so um i don't know if that has anything to do with this commitment here because you know oregon came with a fat stack of money man you know oregon came with a fat stack of money so lsu and miami i'm sure did as well 
And for LSU to beat out those two programs and get Pickett raises my eyebrows for sure, bro. I don't know if I don't know if LSU dropped a big bag. I mean, they sh they had to drop something. If they didn't drop something, then they they probably wouldn't have got him. Just being honest, that's just how it is with recruiting these days. But man, for LSU to beat out both Oregon and Miami, mm, it makes me feel good, bro. It makes me feel real freaking good. But yeah, DJ. Uh, Pickett commits to LSU. Like I said, just gotta hold on to him. Keep fighting off that Nike money from Oregon. We're gonna be all right, man. We gotta get this kid. We gotta get this kid on campus, man. Go freaking Tigers, baby!